Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is an update to the spiral staircase extension, which is available for download on the Tecla warehouse. Back in April, I did a video on the spiral staircase version 1.0, which gave an introduction and an overview of how the tool works. Uh, I'll refer you to that video. We can provide a link to it also in this YouTube video. So I'm not going to cover that stuff that was the same. What I'm going to do is just highlight the information that's new in this version 2.0. We have some really exciting updates available for that. So before I begin, I'm running Tecla Structures version 2017i Service Pack 1. Uh, the reason for that is some improvements that we made to the spiral beam functionality that we utilize within this extension, and I'll explain that as we get further in. So let's go ahead and take a look at the things that are new. So I'm just going to activate this command. The first thing that you'll notice is that there's a preview of the inner and outer diameter or radius of this tool just so that you can see the space that it's going to occupy once it's inserted. And then as I click to insert that, you'll be able to see that place there within the model. One of the improvements that we've made in version 2.0 is that this is now a plug-in. So when I click and hover over this, I'm going to be able to highlight the entire object and to open up the property dialog box, just like regular Tecla tools, as you would expect. Another thing that you'll notice as I zoom in here is that unlike version 1.0 and 2.0, we have support for the spiral beam that was added. Uh, so if I come over here to my parts tab, I can toggle between using a bent plate or spiral beam. If I choose the spiral beam, I have access to the profile catalog of using channels, HSS members, wide flange, etc. So that you can use those to get the proper stair stringers as required. The other thing that we've also added is support for custom components. So if there's unique treads that you want to be able to insert, you can use that custom component option. I'll show an example of that later in this presentation. And over here on the step tab, there's been some UI improvements. And then over here on the stringer tab, we've also added in for the inner and outer stringer this at depth positioning. This is what was added in service pack one for 2017i. So be sure you're using that to get the full benefits of this. Another really exciting thing that we've added is the ability to use direct modification on this stair directly within the model. So I'm just going to zoom out here when I have direct modification activated. You'll notice these blue handles here that I can click and drag. So if I wanted to make this wider, I can just click and drag using the regular direct modification functionality and I can just adjust this as required. If I want to make this uh, radius here any larger, then I can do that and it'll shift that stair over. We also have the ability to come in here and make this taller. So if I wanted to make this stair higher, I can just click and drag what you see is what you get directly within the model. I also have the ability to hover over this line and to click and drag to move this entire stair. So if I wanted to shift that over six feet, I could. If I wanted to come in and move it back, then I have the ability to do that. You'll also notice the contextual toolbar has been configured to allow me to control properties without going back to the property dialog box. So if I want to change this to a column staircase, I can do that, or I can toggle that back to dual stringer. If I want to rotate this to be clockwise or counterclockwise, I can do that. I have the ability to modify within the model the tread rise, and also here the tread run. I can do that straight from this. And then you also see these icons that if I want to turn on the last step uh, or the first step, I can do that. And you'll see this highlighted in yellow if it's visible or not. And I can just toggle that on for the top as well. And if I want to move, remove any of the stringers, I can click these, removing the inside or outside stringer. And then depending upon my direct modification options, I can come in and set these settings just like we have in other direct modification tools. So really exciting that you can manipulate that directly within the model as opposed to using the sliders in the dialog box in version 1.0. So real quick, what I'll do is just uh, toggle through some other tread options. So if I had a custom component tread, here's just a quick example. If I highlight that and hit modify, you can see that custom component tread being inserted. I also have the same option here for items, just as we did before. And then with these spiral beams, uh, our other extensions have been updated. So for example, curved stanchions has been updated. So if I wanted to start putting in my handrail, on this I can easily use that tool to begin building that so really nice functionality really nice update uh, we'd invite you to try it out and send us any feedback that you may have and we hope you enjoy this new development